hoping to change lives with their product, Beck Cherio and Erin Spencer are next up to face the sharks. We provide affordable gender affirming products, help people express their gender identities when that doesn't match what was assigned for them at birth. When we started this business, we had no experience and it's relying on that lived experience of our own and our community to build the business into what it is today. Oh my God. My name is Beck. my pronouns are she and they. My name is Erin, my pronouns are they, them. And we are the co-founders and directors of Sock Draw Heroes, Australia's leading gender expression company for the trans and gender diverse community. We stock over 20 local and international brands, many of which are trans and queer owned small companies like ourselves, because from our experience, we know that the best gender affirming products are made by our community for our community. In 2017, I transitioned as non-binary. I found that there was a significant lack of products available in Australia. Knowing the life-changing impact that these products can have on the mental health and well-being of our community, we saw this as a massive problem. Most of our customers, they're not just buying something, but they're connecting with their community and taking that first step of really feeling confident to be who they are and feeling safe. After two years of research and development, we just launched our very own chest binder range. A chest binder is a compression garment worn to flatten the breast tissue for a more typically masculine appearance. Having an investor would help us expand our own Sock Draw Heroes product range. It is really important to us that anyone we work with is an ally of the trans and gender diverse community. We are seeking a $120,000 investment for a 7.5% stake in our company. Thank you, and we welcome your questions. Thanks, Vic. Thanks, Aaron. What's the valuation? Yeah. I, we're Could horrible we at math. math. <laughs> so... 80 what? is 5, 160 is 10, so $1.6 million. Was she right? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. That's impressive. Uh, my name is Kat, and I think that what you're doing is fantastic. So I'd love to hear a bit more about both of your own personal stories, if you're willing to share. I came out as queer in my late teens, and at the time I didn't have language for anything else. I always feel sort of felt uh, kind of in between uh, genders in this sort of mixed space. Looking back, a lot of the things I went through as a teenager with my mental health um, would now be called gender dysphoria. Uh, so it wasn't until I was 32 and I met Beck uh, that I finally felt comfortable and confident to start to transition. Are you partners? Yes. Yes. We've Yay! been married for seven years. Oh, awesome. So we started as a partnership. I work full time, so I myself wear a lot of hats in the business. And I've actually got a background working in um, public health and LGBTQ health. So day to day that really informs the work I do on Sock Draw Heroes as well. Great. So how big is this market? How big do you think you can grow this business? Generally, it's thought to be between kind of two and three percent, but we know it's actually much higher and it's a growing market, um, particularly among younger people. What's the competition like? In Australia, uh, there are a couple of smaller companies, but we very much hold the market. We are looking to expand on our chest binder range. Chest binders are hands down our biggest seller. We've been talking about the binders, which is a more transmasculine product for a masculine appearance, but we sell tucking underwear and trans feminine lingerie as well. Can I ask you about what your sales have been across the various years? Yeah. So, financials from 22, our revenue was $610,000. Wow. Our gross was $300,000. And our net profit for that year was $13,200. Well done. So, tell me about um, your sales through brands and your own product with the chest binders. So using the binders as an example, we have a short binder and a long binder. The short binder landed cost is 
$21 and it retails for $66. So quite a good markup on that it's one. 214%. Wow. Can we have a look at them? How many SKUs do you have? That's a good okay. question. Estimate. If you'd like colour variants and things? Yeah. I'll say about 800. 800? 800. <laughs> How much are you spending on advertising? Not much at all. 95% of our growth is just from word of mouth. So my professional background is in website development and SEO. Okay. Um, so that Have you put that to work in this yes. business? Definitely. <laughs> okay, so you're getting lots of free traffic. Building yes. our business. Yes. Guys, I... Look, let me, let me tell you where I'm at. First of all, uh, and thank you for sharing your story, there's no human being that should feel lesser for any reason. It almost feels like you're giving a home to people. Putting all that aside, I think my challenge with the business is I'm not sure what the business is right now. What I heard is e-commerce with a great SEO expert, <laughs> great product, physical presence, and now you're manufacturing your own product. Those are three different skill sets for me right now, I, it, it's just not an investment. I'm out. Thanks. Thank you. Aaron, Beck, you've got a great business. It's, it's really good. The, my problem with it is I have another business that sells other people's products. And what's happened over time is more people, competitors have started selling those products and dropping the prices and my margin's been squeezed. So I'm a little bit personally scarred from that. <laughs> if you came in and you had a lot more progression with your own products, might be a different story, but for those reasons, I'm out. Okay, thank you. Beck and Aaron, it's clear that you know your stuff from an SEO standpoint and you've, you've cornered off the market. For me, the growth path is quite clear. But, you know, the expertise that you're going to really need and the guidance is going to be around developing that product and that's just not my wheelhouse. So for that reason, I'm out. Okay, thank you. Aaron, Beck. Basically, a couple of years ago, someone came into our business and was like, you need to sell brands. And we started selling brands, it didn't work for us, and so we're like, okay, it's not commercial, we're dropping it. For you guys, there's more purpose behind that. I think you guys are so fantastic, but as an investment, um, I'm out. But I'd love to help you where I can. Thank you. Thank you, really appreciate that. Kat? Oh, look, I do agree with the other sharks that it seems that your focus is, is a little bit sort of all over the place um, with the retail and online and the physical store, etc. I don't know a lot about fashion and retail and online e-commerce, so I'm not sure that I am the most ideal investor for you. That makes sense. Yeah. That being said, I think I could help you. I have been acknowledged as the most influential woman in business and entrepreneurship in Australia for many years. So I do want to make you an offer. Ooh. OK. My offer is the $120,000 for 20% of the business but I need Jane to come into this deal. <laughs> oh, what can I do? I... Do I want to come in? Erin Beck, I absolutely love the purpose of what you're doing. It's also phenomenal what you've already built it to. I'm in. All right. Thank you, Janie. We'll just have a you huddle. You can have a huddle. We can consider going 150. Yeah. We want that. Two shots. Please. Please. Thank you for your offer. Would you consider 120,000 for 15% between you? Stay strong. 
No. Okay. Sixteen? Do you know who this shark is? I know. What about 18%? We really didn't want to go above 10. Mm. Good for you. But having two sharks... Yeah. 17 and a half. We're going to meet halfway. I prefer an even number, so... 16? So, two sharks, $120,000 for 16% of the business. And what do you guys say? Yes. Let's do, Let's do it. Let's do it. A great pairing for sock drawer heroes. Beck and Erin have secured a deal with fashion guru Jane Liu and AI scientist Katrina Wallace. Yay. Okay. Good, good bargaining too. Parting with 16% of their company for $120,000. Yay. Very shocked. Happy? Yeah. Really happy about having gotten Katrina and Jane. We had yeah. said before we, we did want the women. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs>